some big news and some breaking news uh, tonight. That ABC News is projecting that Hillary Clinton for the Democrats wins Alabama, that Donald Trump for the Republicans also wins Alabama, that Donald Trump for the Republicans wins Massachusetts, and ABC News projects that Hillary Clinton for the Democrats wins Tennessee, and Donald Trump for the Republicans also wins Tennessee. Yeah. And I think I will, I'm going to repeat that point you made because for me it's a very powerful point and a very interesting point that that may be the story of tonight, that it is not a divided Republican electorate. Right. It, it looks like it just because you have so many Republican leaders out there saying Trump is a bad idea. You've got uh, one senator who's saying he wants to support a third party candidate, a Republican senator. You mm -hmm. have Mitch McConnell and Paul Ryan, the top elected officials in Washington on the Republican side, both condemning what Donald Trump has said on the KKK. Uh, and you have all these, all these anti-endorsements rolling in saying Trump is bad. You've got big money motivating against. but. The voters are responding to something. It's not a hypothetical, and it's not like they don't know what they're getting. And one of the one of the the, the cross tabs you look at tonight is yeah. again looking across all of the the nine states where there are exit polls. The question of outsider versus insider. Again, Donald Trump able to dominate this piece of the conversation. We see this. People want that outsider question. Look Fifty-one percent want it. Now contrast that with the Democratic side. You know, we've talked about it, this mm. is an outsider year. That's you know, Bernie Sanders really isn't an outsider either, but he's cast himself as the outsider for the purposes of this discussion. People <laughs> like a political experience on the Democratic side. They want the outsider on the Republican side. Uh, so the way that you channel that anger and the way, and a Trump is the overwhelming choice of those of people, right. as we showed earlier, want the outsider. That's that's a remarkable statement. It's, it may not be a divided Republican electorate, but it's a divided America. Oh my gosh, is it ever. I mean, we and we have to hammer that point home. When you talk about Republican electorate, you're talking about very small segments of the whole country right. that's getting in. I mean, you know, probably less than 1% of all Americans have had a chance to weigh in on this still and it's so when we talk about that but this is the base this is who shows up uh, but it, again the, the divisions appear more severe given the prominent bold-faced names of the people who disagree with Donald Trump and think he'd be a disaster for America so it, it, you don't get that sense though looking at the voters and again I think we'll look back and say the guy won Massachusetts and the guy won Alabama he's doing something right I mean I, honestly if, if these same results rolled in for anyone not named Donald Trump, yeah. we would be talking about the Republican Barack Obama. Yeah, we'd right, be talking right. about someone who is inspiring and motivating and creating the real sense of urgency and powerful change in this country. Because it's Donald Trump, right. and we know his baggage, and we know who he is, it seems different. And there's going to be a very concerted effort to try to stop him. It's just going to be a, a tougher one to pull off.